Hey, it's Coley if you don't know, and it is time for a um, bit of an extra stream. Uh, so we finished Tunic recently, and uh, I wanted to take a look at some of the, the secrets, including reading through the manual, at least good chunks of the manual, um, and just having a bit of a chat about uh, the things that can be found within, and also within the game in general. Because there's a crap ton of stuff that you can find in this game uh, if you know where and how to look. And there's probably so there's probably still some stuff in this game that only Andrew knows about. Like, it's just a web of secrets, so... Um, yeah, uh, let's start with the very first secret, which is right in front of your face. Um, you notice the text above, like the lines above and below tunic. Um, they look like a very familiar pattern, don't they? So yes, that is uh, the in-game runic language, the tunic runic, or trunic as some people like to call it. Um, but uh, it basically when you start the game, if you're starting in window mode, you will notice that the title bar for this game uh, does not say tunic. It's a secret legend. And if you take those uh, lines of Trunic, uh, which is what I'm going to be calling it going forward, uh, if you take those lines of Trunic uh, above and below the word Tunic, um, it spells out Secret Legend. So that's kind of your very first hint as to how to decipher this language. Now there are some things I'm not going to be able to show since we've already started uh, New Game Plus. Um, so I'm not going to be able to, to show like some of the text that, for instance, the librarian says or that the, um, the echoes of the air um, would say while you're in the dark world, effectively. But, um... We can still take a look at the manual, can't we? And I'm gonna start by looking at the very last page. Um, and you'll notice there is a, uh, reference to the... to, basically, to the language in general. Um, how the language works is you start by the, the lines outside the the lines outside the shape are vowels. There are vowel sounds. Like all sorts of vowel sounds, yeah. A E E O U uh A like any vowel sound can be represented with the outside lines. And there is never a line on the right side. If there looks like there's a line on the right side, it actually belongs to the next rune over. Um, then you have the inside lines. And the inside lines represent consonant sounds. Uh, and so any any sort of consonant n, p, uh, l, n, whatever you, you you understand the concept of consonant sounds probably. So each character is thus a phoneme, which is usually a pairing of a vowel and a consonant, or it can be just a vowel, or it can be just a consonant. So, you will usually pronounce the consonant sound first, and then the vowel sound. But sometimes, 
it's in reverse order. And how you know how do you know when it's in reverse order? Uh, you see right next to the golden text there, actually on both ends of it, there are runes with a circle underneath. And uh, so that circle means you reverse the sound. You say the vowel first, and then the consonant. Oh my goodness, let me just turn this off. There. I'm getting notified by absolutely everything right now, so bear with me. So, one secret, I believe, is on this page. So you see the star there. Well, if we go to this page here, there's something about 60 seconds and water. Uh, let me see here. That's under hidden secrets, page 51. Uh, and there's a star there. Sorry, I'm waiting for it to load here. There we go. This message says, Did you retain the secret letter from us? Immerse it in water for 60 seconds to see a secret message. Um, so let's go find some water, shall we? find it there. It's when you're used to being able to just warp everywhere. <laughs> and now I can't. I don't have the uh, the hero's wreath in so, limits my movement options a little bit here. I don't know if we'll need this key, but I'm gonna grab it. Ah, here we go. Oh jeez. I need to go. Leave me alone. I think I saw something really scary over there. Oh jeez. Hi. Um, you weren't here in the original... You're a New Game Plus enemy. Alright, cool. Bye. You're having some fun over there. Um, let me take this opportunity. Ow!
There we go. Ooh. I believe there is an achievement for getting ten of those. Now let's see if we can find a way down. There we go. Nah, nah. You can't catch me. So I don't know exactly how to do this. I haven't actually tested this. I don't know if we gotta sit here. Yeah, because on the first page, there actually is... Actually, I think that's the secret. Yeah, here we go. That wasn't there before, at the bottom there. Um, and that's the first bit of uh, Trunic that we're going to decipher during this stream. Uh, and what's on there is a haiku. The softest feather corrected 11, 11 times. Departing once more. So there's your first secret right there. Well, in the manual. Okay. So let's start reading this manual for reals. Uh, so underneath death is cards, then hints and clues, then praying. Underneath cathedral is the far shore. Uh, if you're not familiar with the far shore, that's the name of the warp zone. Alright, let's start going through the story. A long, long time ago, thank you, there lived a civilization of great power. They built a city, and within that city they built a palace. They held sacred the secrets of the Holy Cross, and understood the planar nature of reality. They ventured to the far shore and sought power from the spaces between. As is usual, an alluring old power was discovered. Fossils of self annealed visions of the future, entombed and cast into sarcophagi and buried, a lever in the canonical plane, a store of potential. Perhaps it is the fabled prize, the power to defy death. A terrible power rises. The discovering hero opened a tomb and revealed a terrible truth. A cathedral was built to venerate this new origin of life, and the faithful were granted the grace of holy oblivion. The world is thrown into ruin. The lever overworked, the fulcrum shattered, a hole in truth will thunder open, and all manner of disquiet contradictions will gnaw apart the canonical plane. The thread is snagged into a squirming coil with no beginning and no end. Flee to your ark, old ones and become your predestined selves. A prison and a beacon. 
But one must live outside the shivering ring, the air, seeking an heir to the air. A beacon to bring about a ruin seeker, to either grow strong and replace an ailing heir, or to hold sacred holy cross and ensure their wisdom lives on, awaiting a worthy successor. Which will you be, ruin seeker? Have you arrived here seeking treasure and glory? Or do you seek to uncover deeper truths? Look carefully, for the golden path lies everywhere. Uh, the text above, Canonical Plain, The Shadow Oubliette, and The Far Shore from left to right. The red key, cover, uh, coveted in a forest temple. The green key, stolen to the top of the sky. The blue key, sealed at the root of the world. Again the same battle, fought uncountable times. And so the cycle continues. Ruin seekers drawn to the beacon are tested. Those who abandon their quest are forgiven and simply disappear. Those who are strong enough to remember their true hero selves will, through violence, begin the cycle anew. Will you be the heir to the heir and wait within the Shadow of Liet? Before long, a ruin seeker will be drawn to you. Their gifts will recall your past life, and you will grant them the same false hope you were given. To break the curse, a ruin seeker must by some miracle invoke a relic from beyond this plane. At the top right says the air. So pretty much uh, the story here is telling us exactly what we need to, to know here is that uh, there are two endings to this game. Uh, you can either uh, defeat the air and thus become the air. Uh, and that is the bad ending to this game is if you do manage to defeat the air, um, the cycle repeats itself and uh, the Ruin Seeker, a uh, little foxy fox buddy there, uh, takes the air's place and is trapped within the Shadow Oubliette, which is where we first meet the air. Onto the data management page, and this is pretty much um, this. This is pretty much given. Like there, there's not a whole lot going on here. The one thing that is to note is um, what Rune Seeker is saying there, which is just simply, "Whose is this?" Referring to. Uh, the save file that we found while we were uh, discovering the Golden Path uh, that had basically max stats on everything, like ridiculous amounts of time and all that, and then we opened it up and found a segment of the Golden Path. And that is what gave me the idea, like ju just this general uh, display here, without knowing what it says. That's what gave me the idea to actually look in the um, the save listing, like the, the file listing in the low games room. It's like, there is no golden path on this page, but it hints to where it is. Uh, the little box there... Um, over here says options mean you can keep playing if the challenge is too much right now you are allowed um, that might be a little uh, a little simplified that might not be exactly what it says and I press the screenshot button but whatever 
Um, so yeah, that's what it says about data management. Beginning your adventure. A secret legend says that a great treasure lies in this faraway land. Maybe it is the power to defy death. Why do you seek this power, tiny one? Time to begin your adventure. Here is what you will do. And then it gives an outline of how to start the game. East forest, enter the woods. Here is grave. A sorrel lies at the grave. Guard captain, powerful foe, be careful. Old house, you will need a key. Flooded well, page 29. Dark tomb, dark, need a light. West garden, page 27, and question marks. On the right, it says, in a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. And in the box, it says, power to defy death. Um, Ruin Seeker is saying, lost? See page 28. The game screen, there's not really too much to point out here. Um, it points out the fact that you are the Ruin Seeker. Um, the, uh, the thing that says page 41 there says, Strange Gate to the Far Shore. Uh, and the box at the bottom right says, Keep your eye on your stamina points. When you have zero SP, you are in danger. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. <laughs> uh, the controls we have. Um, focus. Focus is crucial. That's on a uh, left trigger there. Uh, tab, inventory gear, uh, left stick to move, uh, right trigger shield, right bumper to potion, uh, X, Y, and B use item, and A to roll, run, or talk. Um, a button. This button has many uses. One is secret, but if you read this book, you will learn it. Of course, referring to praying. Um, actually, it says about praying here, I think. So, uh, there's talk. Talk to signs and doors. Pray. Forbidden technique. Offer reverence to the tombs of those who came before. Page 24. Roll. Press to roll. Very, very important for surviving. Press! You cannot be hit at the start of a roll. Page 14. And run. Press and hold the button to run. It is faster than rolling over and over. Press. And hold. Uh, left trigger button. This button has one main use, but it is a powerful one. Use it all the time, Ruin Seeker. Lock. Um, left trigger, face your adversaries. Hold this to focus on a nearby foe. Plus A, focus and evade, to roll and dodge while still staying ready to strike. Uh, plus right trigger, focus and block, to raise your shield and face the foe. Understanding Stamina Points. Stamina points represent your poise and strength to perform certain actions. When you evade or perform other moves, your stamina points go down. When at zero SP, you can still do many actions, but at a disadvantage. Moment of safety. At the start of evasion, you have invulnerability briefly, so evade just at the right moment. Stability. Take enough hits and you will flinch. If a hit is really big, you can even be knocked over. The hidden stability gauge is 25%. Of your total HP. Moving on to stamina. Uh, so let's say with vigor, use vigor to roll. You are safe for a tiny moment. Found the shield. Block. Vigor fills more slowly. Hits will use up vigor. No vigor. Zero percent. Oh no, you ran out of vigor! You can only hop and are highly vulnerable. 
Watch out! No safety, low stability, and hurt more. And um, right next to the word evade there at the bottom is vigor. Treasures and tools. Sword. It, is this a hero's blade or a forgery? Stick. Just a stick. Shield. Left by a ruling. Used to deflect blows. Ice spawn. Unstable powder made from the fairy of the West Garden. Bang bomb. Made from Slorm. The pudding that goes boom. <laughs> Love that line. <laughs> Uh, the slorms, by the way, are the the slimes in the um, in the sewer, uh, and also in the um, ruined atoll, I believe they are. And firebomb, fire, fire everywhere, and ow, 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 ow. <laughs> like the the fact that like I I actually um, I actually sort of know Andrew in real life. Uh, not like he is like a friend of mine, not, not anything like that. We're acquaintances, uh, and I haven't seen him in a while because of COVID, but you know. Um, some of these are definitely things that I would that I would see him like say or put in a game or something. Like the firebomb. Fire, fire everywhere. And ow, 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 ow. Keys. You need a key to open one of the rare old doors. The key disappears. Fruits. Eat fruits to restore HP or MP. They are gone forever. So uh, they are gone forever. So snack sparingly. Hot pepper and ivy. One is spicy. One is minty. Gives a boost to attack or SP. Effigy. Betray for coins. Each betrayal is sweeter than the last. And that's what it's referring to, that 8, 16, 32, 64 thing there. Uh, the more of them that you break, um, the more money that you get. Lore, doll of the beloved hero, foes will be tricked. Golden coin, a special treasure that allows, that allows a wish. Use at well to give to wish eater. Um, and in the box with the two cards... Cards are ways to be inspired to unusual greatness, page 20. Magic items. Some items use the power of your soul. Magic points refill when you rest. But there is a finite number of souls in the world. Uh, in the box just below, shows useless left. Even a drop of MP is enough. Note, Holy Cross is more than a mere item. Magic potion, lifeblood of the hero. Quaff to restore your will to go on. Mysteriously refills whenever you touch a checkpoint. Potion Fragment. Find some and you get a free flask. Ash Envelope. Offer up ash to make your magic potions more potent. It is said that the ash of heroes fortifies the blood. If you seek to increase your power... Risk an offering to the air. Um, so next to next to the doodad there um, above attack, the price goes up each time. And in the the crumbling box, as the shore bleeds one of falsehoods and memories, the air un hungers for reminders of the corporeal world. Offer these mementos and share a delusion of power. And in the golden box, a warning, pilgrims to the shore are stripped of this false power, page 41. Page 19, death. Please cooperate, Tablet, thank you. Uh, top left box, oh no! Bad news, the Ruin Seeker has run out of health points. But wait, a strange being has given us another chance. Such a debt is a dangerous thing to have. In the top right box, what was but is now not. The ghostly form of an echo of self. Touch it to break its connection to this to the cycle and let it drift back into the shore. Be kind, as this is your fate as well. Cards can change its nature. 
In the bottom box, future cycles look back with faith, knowing the cause. Preserve, uh, sorry, persevere and be sure to boost your power despite the cost. Try to be this strong. Attack 3, defense 3, to fight Garden Knight. Cards Cyan Peril Ring raises defense when you are in peril. Inverted Ash Quaffed Potions restores MP instead of HP. Lucky Cup Foes leave hearts to heal you a bit. Rare, 15%. Muffling Bell. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Foes notice you less. There are many cards. What do they all do? It's a secret. Page 51. Top right box. Cards. Cards can grant powerful inspiration. Change them often, depending on the challenge you face. 1. Open the inventory. 2. Choose the slot icon. 3. Choose a card to memorize. In the bottom left box, wells and coins. Granting wishes requires payment, and further inspiration requires wishes. Those who wish enough can be formidable indeed, but to whom are you giving payment? To whom indeed? So showing three coins will give you a second card, then another three for three, another four for four, another five for five. And uh, Rune Seeker is saying, choose wisely, Rune Seeker. Alright, on to hints and clues. And this just straight up tells you stuff, honestly. Let me take a drink. So, uh, going from. Top to bottom, left to right. So, I entered the temple, but it was empty. What now? Here is where a rune seeker would place three keys. Where are the keys? You can't find any without prayer. Try tomb. Page 24. How do I get to the ruined atoll? Traverse the far shore and tele with teleporter and prayer. What is the secret of the golden path? Look to the stars, then to page 49. So, this is one of the pages for the Golden Path. Saying, look to the stars, that's just straight up. The stars here will point, uh, will, uh, point out that particular segment. Um, and the Thought Bubble says, I'm stuck. Oh, um, also at the very top there it says, Stumped? Here are some clues for you. Try to help your friends if you can. Uh, the checkpoint says dead? It must see to the core. Look for a nearby tomb, page, page 24. Old burying ground is too hard. Why? It is a place of despair. Only ghosts may enter. And sure enough, we were only able to get there once we were, like, super dead. And traveling around in ghost form. What's up with the door in the mountains? All the clues you seek are here in these pages. How do I defeat the air? Gather the relics from the hero's grave. How do I open these doors? Seek the Holy Cross. Can I go back to how things were? Perhaps there is a way. Maybe this is all a dream. And I believe that's referring to going to um, the house where there is a bed, and uh, this is after you've released the air. I think it is possible to actually go to sleep, and when you wake up, you're back to before the air was released. And then you can sleep again and go back to after. At least that's how I interpret that. I haven't actually tested this. What's behind the waterfall? Do you know the fairies? Turn to page 47 and look carefully. What's the next piece of the puzzle? Every page has a secret, even this one. Uh, and this is what tells you that um, the golden path uh, on page 49 is referring to uh, pages in the manual. How do I truly escape? Share your wisdom and break the cycle. 
the saying. Uh, following the golden path and completing the manual is the true ending. I found a trophy. Can I see them all? Yes, there is a place. Referring to the place right next to the house where uh, all the um, golden treasures go. Um, after you've collected them. So the six regions are, clockwise from the top, HP, Fortress, um, Attack, Forest, uh, SP, Swamp, NP, Library, Defense, Garden, Potion, Monastery, and in the gold bubble, do you know the secret way? Go to the door, door of the mountains, and check beneath it. I think that's uh, referring to the alternate way to get to the quarry. Come on. There we go. The Secret of Prayer. To pray, be still for a moment and rest. Rune Seeker, press and hold A for a short time. No holy being will ever hear you, but venerate those to, who gave of their core and awaken the tools of a lost age. Um, and in the thought level says, pray. Page 25, no text here. Page 26, survival tips. Keep an eye on your bars, your uh, the red bar, your will to go on. Improve potions with ash to gain more HP per sip. The green bar. If it is flashing, you're out of breath. Remember, you take extra damage. Page 16. Blue bar. The power of your soul. Using magic items consumes it. Some foes leave their souls. Tired all the time? You can run. Your stamina points refill, even when running, so you can enter fights strongly. Rolling everywhere will exhaust you. Whole day. Try on cards. Have you discovered how to use cards? Be sure to make wishes if you have coins. Page 20. Use your items. Today is the rainy day, so don't hold valuable tools. Re rewards await those who use liberally. Extra bombs for some reason? You must like using them. Um, use special techniques. Roll and sword at the same time to perform a fast stab. Note, it uses stamina points. Check the map. Someone has made maps for you. There are secrets hidden on them, so look, care look carefully. Uh, in inside the arrow says you are here. West Garden. So most of this is already in English. Um, the text next to fairies just says fairy. Uh, below the uh, boss there. To the west of the Great Palace are the gardens. Many paths are broken, but there is a way. Of course, referring to the Hero's Reef. That allows us to walk around. Magic Dagger. A magic item made from a fairy. Use it to freeze foes with ice. Ringing the West Bell. Can you see the bell but not reach it? Try going to the West Garden via the Dark Tomb. Uh, everything else here is in English, so... Under the Well. Flooded layer beneath the surface, filled with monsters. Walking in water will slow you, but also some foes. Watch out for what lies below. Uh, then you got the Swarm, the Autobolt, and Tip! Use a shield. Watch your vigor. Beneath the Earth. Beneath the Earth are many scary places. Be sure to take a lantern. Spider Map. Below the fortress is a cave. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. 
One key to the Shadow of Liette is guarded by the last great machine of war. When the siege was done, this beast, this beast was coaxed into this lonely purpose. Uh, anyone who doesn't know what a new Liet is, basically a dungeon with an opening only at the top. Uh, and it is of course referring to where the air is being held. So at the top of the map it just says, uh, The Last Machine of War, Siege Engine, referring to the boss. In the black box to the left there it says To the Dark Cave, page 30. In the box at the bottom it says, Those who live in the fortress do not know the secret of prayer. Use your knowledge wisely, and, though, and who knows what you'll find. Uh, learn about prayer, page 24. Uh, the warp pad goes to the far shore, and the hero statue goes to the hero's grave. The ruined atoll, under the library, is the skeleton of a great abbey that served as its annex. Once, some others made this their home and built on the ruins. Only Flora and Fauna live here now, but the frogs may be on patrol. Summoning the library path means venerating to the four corners, so take a knee. I'm showing the four corners there. Uh, they're just simply marked northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. Um, I'm not completely sure um, how that writing works out, but um, that's basically the notation for that. And then you get the, uh, the, the notation there at the bottom, north, uh, northeast, southwest. So you basically get to learn the directions, the cardinal directions from here, which I did use in one puzzle. To free one of the fairies, I believe. The frog's domain. Bottom right. That uh, just says odd door next to magic orb there. And below it says rotate it around the forbidden access and partially summon a disquiet being. Interesting. Many have sought the secrets of this world, drawn by the great power and other secret legends. The librarian has learned much, including powerful sorceries. He makes his home high above the clouds, waiting for seekers to bring him more pages. Although powerful, his tragedy is his belief that the Holy Cross resides in the cathedral. He will never visit the far shore. Boss of the Scavengers, will stop at nothing to obtain the Blue Key. She has long known that it lies in the rooted ziggurat, but has only now entered its depths. It costs many lives, but any price would be acceptable. Uh, no stream elements. I do not want to sponsor those people. The Quarry. Monastery, once a place of worship for the gods, thought to live beneath the earth. It was abandoned when the cathedral's influence reached its peak. Cavity, exposed fossil that has dented a patch of local truth out of the canonical plane. Being near, it does not hurt, but it does instill a terrible feeling of hopelessness. So... It's kind of the, the same idea as uh, previously health was referred to as the will to go on. Um, so being near a cavity, uh, as it says, doesn't actually hurt, but it fills Ruin Seeker with despair to the point where just one more hit could take him out. The Rooted Ziggurat 
a house for strange gods, exposed by erosion and greed. Gun. Powerful, but uses a lot of magic. Savvy explorers have been known to quest for this soon after their arrival. So, I guess some people like to get that first. I don't know how true that is. I, would, I haven't seen the speedrun in this game, so... Lower Miasma. The bottom of the quarry will sap you while to go on, unless precautions are taken. Were the rumors that the air is poisoned misunderstood because of this miasma? And there it's also alluding to the um, mask, the scavenger's mask, uh, which are the precautions that need to be taken if you don't want your maximum HP to drop. The swamp. Old burying ground. Fleemers. Equipped in various ways. The flesh may be stripped away, but the will to fight is strong. Friend. An echo of self from a past ruin seeker whose owner gave up. Watch and listen closely, uh, closely and release it from its agony. Center box. A uh, skull. The, the skull says RIP, or R I P, rather. Around the cathedral is a wasteland of graves. Those who had remained to bury after the final ma battle are laid here, but many are not at rest. Cathedral. The seat of power for the first air. 1. The sound of chanting in the air. 2. A large chamber with the smell of incense. Sh uh, 3. A shaft in descends into darkness, activated by tin. Uh, 4. Doorway to eastern rooms. For A, a group of lost friends cover the, covet the elixir. B, the baptismal font. Five. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, I definitely was getting you confused with someone else. You were getting me confused with someone else. Don't interrupt me. Five. Upper balcony offers a view of the main hall. 6. In the library, there is a double secret. 7. A rough-hewn passage. 8. A moonlit bridge blocks access to a treasure. 9. The chalice slash vessel. 10. Device to power the lift at 3. Ah, oh, okay. Activated by 10. Gotcha. 11. A lift shaft. 2. Uh, 2. 12. Ruined chamber has checkpoint. 13, Gauntlet with 6 challenges. The Far Shore. So at the top left, they say the Far Shore. Top middle says the Shadow of Liet. Uh, written in a circle clockwise from top, uh, from top, a key is no mere toy. Uh, at the bottom left, Sword of the Air, the bottom right, um, Stolen Device, and Ruin Seeker's Arrival. Understanding the strange effects of the Far Shore. Normal. Offerings to the air give power in the corporeal realm. In the Far Shore, slash ghost. Um... You are a shadow of yourself, and the false gifts of the air hold no effect. With Hero Relic, attune to the true memory of yourself, instead of a pale retelling. How does a Ruined Seeker become a, become a hero? Seek the grave, page 23, and pray to visit the, he the hero's grave and claim your heroic past. The Ruined Seeker begins to understand the Holy Cross. Hidden Secrets Much is hidden in this world, bound, bound behind the power of the Holy Cross. Prove to those who gave of their core that you know of it deeply. Open the vaults left to help wise rune seekers. Free the souls that stayed behind to guide you and receive their gift. 49. Follow the Golden Path The Monolith and Overworld I think that's uh, that's where we get the page that actually shows off the, the golden path. 
Clearing the game or seeking an end. A. Take your rightful place. Extinguish the beacon's last spark and become a fresh martyr. Courage that is untempered by kindness risks eating itself, itself forever. Or B. Share your wisdom. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is no wisdom at all. Be free. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the golden path. The Fairy Spring Fairy souls are tucked away in all corners of the world. They lock themselves in gold chests, awaiting a clever ruin seeker who knows the power of the Holy Cross. A hidden fairy will always leave a trace of magic nearby. They await a particular song and listen for it eternally. Look around to find a secret spell hidden in the world. Seeking Spell Tiny false fairies will be drawn along the small folds of local truth the real fairy has created as a nest. Secret Gathering Place But where do they hide? Find a special location where all the freed fairies gather. It is said that they have a final treasure and will only give it up when a certain number of their friends are freed. So as it turns out, we only need to release 10 of them? Not the whole 20? Well, we got the whole 20, so... So much the better for us. Um, the encrypted um, names here. Where do the fairies hide? I'll just read the ones that, that are in runic from top to bottom, left to right. Flowers 1. Flowers 2. Moss. Caustic Light. At the bottom, Maze. Column. Excuse me. On the right, vein, house, uh, or hose. Is it hose house? Anyway, um, patrol, cube, maze, invisible, fountain, and then the rest are in English. This damn thing. The Golden Path. The Greatest Spell. Going the mountains. Uh, let's see. So at the top it says cards. Uh, in the bottom right in pen it says parry time up. At the bottom right says, Did you retain the secret letter from us? Immerse it in water for 60 seconds to see a secret message. Which definitely a reference to Star Tropics. Actually, I was just watching Zero's Let's Play of uh, Star Tropics earlier. And yeah, you got the just the rest of this stuff here. Uh, on page 54. For additional support and secrets, 1. Find some rare golden statues. 2. Traverse the glow to, re to visit 12 strange beings. 3. Unsing to them the greatest song, the song of the golden path, as seen from within. And, um... I'm pretty sure that uh, those are page numbers in the circles. Um, and this is kind of interesting. When it says unsing the greatest song, they're actually talking about the, the golden path. But what if you flipped it? It's a weird thing. Um, so basically you find all 12 treasures, then you flip the golden path left and right, and then unsing it. So you would start from the middle and work your way out, I believe is what that means. So that's the manual. Oh, there's still the uh, the text in those spaces there. Um, so it says lies a special place, plundered for its blade, on an ancient tomb, 
contemplate this pl this prayer under the moon. Um, so this, you gotta kind of uh, mix it up here. So, on an ancient tomb plundered for its blade lies a special place. Contemplate this prayer under the moon. So basically you gotta go to the hero's grave um, at the eastern forest. I believe you have to do this after getting the blessing of the hero, because it says under the moon. And uh, one of the, the, the upper right says up, uh, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. So I think that's where one of the uh, golden treasures is, or it could be something else entirely. So that's the manual. Um, let me see if I have... Okay, Google Drive. Yes, yes. So the amount of secrets there are in this game is kind of amazing, honestly. Um, right down to... Uh, I don't know if I can do the Seeking spell in the first half of the game, but let me try. So yes, you can do that. So you heard all of those... Um, all of those sounds that came uh, from the false fairies, as the manual calls it. Um, turns out, these sounds can be translated into Trunic, which can then be translated into English. So I, th I believe the idea, for the most part, is um, as long as the notes ascend, um, you would interpret that as a character, basically. So once the notes descend again, that's another character and so on. So each note refers to one of the lines in the runes. And you can put those together and make an actual um, message out of it. In particular, this one says, this way, this way, fox friend, this way. Um, if there is no treasure, it says, nope, no folds of local truth here. Um, the fairies themselves all say different things when you free them, uh, including see you at the fall, the, the secret gathering place. You found me, yay. Where are my friends at? Hey, rune seeker. Why is it not letting me scroll? Opening Google Sheets. Can I do that? I can do that if I install Google Sheets. Well, all right then. I don't want to spend too much time on this because um, I don't have a whole lot of time left. Before I perish. Also, I probably am going to perish the way I'm talking so much here. And I'm on finish installing. There we go. Yeah, 
Yes, I know. My spreadsheet is in dark mode. Thank you. Uh, where are my friends at? Finally, freedom. Ding dong. Oh. Um... So when the mountain door opens, you can make out the name, the, the words, share your wisdom. Uh, there's something about Ionian mode, which I think is like slightly different. Um, also when you're in Purgatory, which is the um, special save file, uh, you can follow the notes to, that will say Limbo. Uh, the title screen, people think it says Welcome. Uh, when, you select, when you select for a new game, uh, it comes out as new or continue, uh, more, coin wells, yum. Uh, the good ending screen comes out as the end. Bad ending screen comes out as air to the air. But yeah, th there are multiple different modes of like different ways that um that things are meant to be interpreted uh, actually there is there is another example in the reveal trailer for the game um and that says care you for a lore seeker There are also some messages in the songs themselves. I don't necessarily know where all of these are. Okay. Um, this song doesn't have a secret to it. But when you're fighting the Garden Knight, uh, they have made out Ruin Seeker beneath the Eastern Vault. They've come out with Prison. Um, also within the Eastern Vault, they've come they've come in with Infiltrator, Hourglass Cave. You have more here beneath the well. You have Under Earth. Inside the Ziggurat is a really long one, apparently. Um, wow, are the ash their core, uh, their courage? Woe are the ash, their core owed to the shore. Approximately that's what it says. Here in the bad end credits you have Secret Legend. Uh, and also there's this thing called uh, Big Fairy Speech, which I think is um, when you go to the, um, the secret meeting place. I could be mistaken. But um, yeah. People come, who have figured this stuff out are just completely brilliant. But um, basically he says this. Oh hey there, what a journey to over here. <laughs> nah, I'm joking around. Really, really glad to be out of that cold, tiny chest and moving into this cold, damp cave. Want an upgrade? Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, if you see Andrew, out there, tell him to stop putting me in 
That's box. Ha ha ha. Really, you're a good kid. Good luck with the air. Or should I say, as the air. Whoa, spoilers. Look out, ha ha. But no, I mean it. Uh, but no, I mean it. Forge your own path, golden or otherwise. Either way, I'm back in the box. Right. Haha. <laughs> Uh, they don't seem to be sure about Andrew, but Andrew would make sense because Andrew Shoulders is the guy who made this game. And, uh... There really is, like... A huge type of like ARG type of deal going on in this game as well. It's so huge that it's taking a second to load here. Just give me a moment while that loads. I'm not going to be able to go through all of this, but um, if you go to the Tunic Wiki, which is just simply tunic.wiki, um, there are just loads of secrets. So much research that people have made. Because every... Every little bit of information that can possibly be wrung out of the game, uh, including some information about a secret area which might have been used as a testing area. And um, I think one of the one of the most completely bananas things is uh so there is if you get all of the treasures um i i think this is how it works but if you get all of the treasures and unsing the song of the golden path um there is a website that you uh, gain access to. Do you fear the eyes of the far shore? .co? And you just get like this extremely ominous scene fall out in front of you. Which at first just looks very creepy. But then you look at the spectral pitch display, and something very interesting shows up. You don't, you not only see um, the notes that are being played that can be translated uh, into. Uh, the the runic language into trunic but it is possible to even make out the symbols themselves which i believe is supposed to be um it's supposed to be kind of a key as to like this can become that. Uh, let me see here. So. 
What is Devworld? Devworld is accessed through the Golden Path hint on page 9 that leads you to a mysterious save file. Causing your own death via Molotov or Bomb will spawn you into what is commonly referred to as Devworld, which may or may not be a previous build. Um... And yeah, I... I don't really remember this dev world. Because I, I have played the demo, but um, this is not the demo, I don't think. So yeah, if you want to get into this weird world, go into the uh, save, go into the secret save file that tells you about the um, the golden path for page nine, and get yourself killed. You will have to do it to yourself, though. And there are some interesting things that kind of come up. including something that looks like it could be a holy cross pattern, but they're not super sure about it. So... There's also a, a sign for the Triumvirate, um, which actually shows up as one of our um, golden treasures that we found in our playthrough. And it's kind of, it's, it's sort of like an analog to, um, the Triforce, so the different triangles represent wisdom, uh, wisdom, power, and courage. But the uh, the keys themselves, the bagels, as I like to call them, um, red is reason, green is grace, and blue is power. Doesn't exactly you know line up quite. Right, but you know. Um, so some changes with uh, New Game Plus. Playing cards appear in certain locations. There are extra enemies. Deathless and Shrineless runs. Both endings. No new secrets there. Bunch of translated ghost dialogue, translations from early content, transcriptions of audio sheets, spectrography to runes and images, uh, tunic translations to phonemes, I, there is just absurd amounts of information like I, I would I would imagine that there's still some things that um, only Andrew would know. Anyway, um, so if all of this has interested you, there's still so much more that I haven't covered in this stream, and so much more that um, still needs to be uncovered. So if you want to be 
bit of an archaeologist, I would absolutely recommend um, grabbing this game, giving it, giving it a go, and just discovering everything that there is to discover. There's just so much. Anyway. Do, do. This button, right? Yes. So that's going to wrap things up. Uh, we're going to go raid the real Zero, who is um, getting to the end of Parasite Eve. The next scheduled stream is going to be the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. Uh, it is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some Mark Velgo shenanigans. Any other streams can be found over at uh, twitch.tv slash coolemzx slash schedule. Uh, do know if anyone's there, but uh, if so, thank you for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.